The sixth chair must have been so stressful. You must have just... The thing is, you don't want to hate anyone, or you don't want to be mean to anyone, but it must no. have been... Oh, it must have been horrible. Can't even imagine what emotions you went through. Mm. It was weird. Yeah. yeah, it was weird because yeah. we shared a room. Yeah. A few days before the sixth before chair, the sixth and we didn't know each other, and it was like it was a bit. It wasn't awkward. In the room. It wasn't it was just, awkward. It was. It was like, just, who are you? Yeah. Person? And he didn't like. <laughs> I was talking too quick because you know yeah, everyone tells me to slow down. <laughs> so yeah, but no. Um. Yeah, like um. But Dalton was the heat. You were the last on. That I remember. I was the last on. Yeah. Um, I think it's it's just where it's it's. I think. People might look at it as, oh, they probably hate each other, but that's the easiest part not to, you know, because you don't, I'm, you're there cheering them on because you want everybody to do good and then it's your turn all of a sudden, you know, and then you're like, oh my God, you know, and <laughs> then he goes up and gets the, the, the safe seat, so I'm like, awesome, and I'm like, all right, so I have five seats that I have to be a part of, and going last was not very easy, because I'm like, all right, I think he knows these are the people he wants, so I'm going up there to break everything and then judge his houses and... Um, oh. So talk me through uh, yeah. Louis. Tell me about the guy. Sum him up for me. Sum it up. He's in one direction. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, he's been like he. In fairness, uh, Louis, Louis's been at the house yeah. like every day this every week. Day. Yeah. Every day, like he's been really spending a lot of time with us. Hands get, on. Yeah, really very hands on. Like getting to know us a little, little bit better. So he's been he's been very good. Like. And you met his dogs. I understand. He's always got his dogs yes, with him. Yes, I, I I got some food and I was going outside. And as soon as I opened the door, his big dog came to me and I was like, okay, nope. <laughs> Next direction. You're not a dog fan. I'm a dog fan, but that was my food, so I wasn't <laughs> planning on <laughs> the dog. You Are know, they so like his bodyguards, these dogs? Pretty dogs, though. Pretty, oh, pretty very, dogs. Very, very lovely dogs. Yeah. So he, I think Louis is probably the best equipped person to, to, to be talking to you guys, because yeah. he knows exactly yeah. what you're going through. Yeah. Obviously, he then joined the group, but um, what, what's the best thing you've learned about him, or what's the best thing he said to you? I think, well, for myself anyway, I think like he, he's been through this process and he knows yeah. what works and what doesn't work. Yeah. So like, you know, he, he, I think he's the one, not, not saying that the judges can give us good advice, but I'm saying I think from his point of view, he can give us the best advice that anyone can. Um, you know, and he was, obviously he was one of the, in one of the biggest acts in the world as well. So, you know, um, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I feel um, it's kind of like him going back in time and correcting what he could have made better but the rest this time yeah and so just it's not it's yeah I could be like oh he's a cool guy and he's this and that but he's very hands-on and I think the work ethic that he has toward my performance alone you know coming in and, and saying hey I want this to be this production and do you agree with this and I'm like yo I thought the same thing man and like just the the, the collaborative creativity that is there it's, it's, it's cool. Mm. What do you mean about going back and correcting? What do you mean? Yeah, I feel that? like he's doing that through us. You know, he was here and he did the whole thing, and um, so I feel like this is his opportunity to go back and correct us, not himself. So it's kind of like going back in time, living vicariously through us, and going and be like, "Yeah, this is what I could have done better because I know now what it is. So you guys can do it for me because I can't go back and do it." So I feel like, you know, he's what better person to. And he sold millions of records too, let's not forget that. You know, he must be doing something right to do that, so. <laughs> well, well, but he was in a group and obviously they've done very, very well. What mm -hmm. do you think he would have done differently? Because he said nothing. Uh, like, I don't know, I, I suppose... I suppose X Factor is... A lot, a lot of... Some of it, it's, it's like buying a lottery ticket, I think. Mm, yeah. You know, like, you don't, like... There's all this thing about favourites and who's in the running and who's, who's going to be in the... Like, who's going to be going far, but... You just don't know as well, and like from the last few weeks, um, hearing everyone in the house and getting to know everyone's different personality and everything, um, you just don't know who's. I, I couldn't call it anyway. Who's who's gonna be there, you know? So, um, but look, no, there's there's been there's been some really unique and different talent, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a good year. Did you guys get to meet Liam as well when he was uh, helping Louis out? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we got to we got to meet him. Yeah, it was cool. It was really cool. Do you not, do you, do you not like Liam? Uh, I love, I, 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 to me, it's like, mm -hmm, like I was doing these guys' covers years ago. And just to back up, just for clarity, um, when I say go back in time and fix, as musicians, there's always things that we can work on, always things we can improve. So that's what I mean by that. Um, but Liam, uh, I never expected I'd be in Ibiza. That's one. I'm the X Factor. That's two. Um, knowing uh, Louis, that's three. Meeting Nyla Rogers, that's four. Then singing for Liam P and that's five, <laughs> you know, and, and 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 being in a not even just performing, like having the talks we did. So 
Yeah, like, is it real? You know. Um, <laughs> yes. It, 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 it's, it's, it's not a full circle. It's, it's a out of body experience. Mm -hmm. Like, whoa. Oh, what? Like, yeah. 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 Yeah.